but he's actually uh, a kind of Sonic that wouldn't do that. He's more in your face a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And I know a lot of people like throwing that around. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> but, but believe me, this guy actually has some stuff. He has some stuff. So I think it's going to be very hard for New Brunswick, in all honesty. But like I said, we don't get to see these uh, these uh, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. We don't see them too much. We don't get to see what's what they're brewing. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So maybe they're pulling out something new I haven't, I haven't seen before. Well, we'll see. Hopefully they have what it takes to stack up because mm. right now I'm looking at the uh, the bracket that's projected for this. Mm. And Ottawa is definitely seated to take it over uh, New Brunswick. Yeah. And I'm sure they're not happy about that. Yeah. So they're yeah. going to come out here. They're going to try to strike the first blood. Mm -hmm. And they're going to try to eventually, you know, take the whole thing. Like I said, it's all a matter of pride, Canadian pride. Uh, these guys, they want to show up, they want to say, hey, don't sleep in our region anymore. Uh, and Ottawa's got to show, because uh, for real, when it comes to Ottawa, they've been going ham 2017, but I don't really get to see them that much in 2018. So who knows, someone, someone's slacking. I'm saying, someone's slacking. <laughs> someone's going to be caught lacking. Yeah, 100%. And soon we will see them. But before that, I just want to talk about um, the fact that how many players are here at Gommel is absolutely insane. Yeah, I, yeah. I love the amount of support that people mm. show this event specifically. Mm. I, the one thing I love more than anything, like we said before, giant community of players, we're all one Smash community at the end of the day. Yeah. I love seeing the international scenes really get the shine they deserve. You know, Canada, prime example. A lot of people don't know anything about Canada unless it's, we're talking about Ally, Kells, or Mystique, right? Yeah. And, but as of recently, as recently as like, even about this time of last year, Locust started to come up. Captain L's really doing it big in the past two months. Like oh, yeah. I'm talking about insanely big. Exactly. Like like Jigglypuff's final smash <laughs> kind of big. If you, if you feel that me. big. And so just when you get these players that are able to do that individually, mm. it brings everything back to where they came from, right? Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, that's why I'm happy that Carmel is getting the kind of recognition that it has now, because on top of being a uh, pretty strong scene in itself, Canada, mm -hmm. you now have a showcase for that. Exactly. That people will actually look forward to. Just so we can show you what we can do, and next year can be even better. And speaking on what you just said, I feel like it's been kind of like a different kind of age. You had the age of Ally that lasted. It still lasted. You know yeah, what I mean? It's probably still it's going on. It's still going on. But then all of a sudden, Locust came out, Zero Saga. Uh, actually, no, I don't think it was. Yeah, it, it was, was Zero Saga. saga. It was indeed Zero be, Saga. Be tweak Mr. Mm -hmm. R. And Nobody then, forget it. Yeah, no one will forget that. And then later on, the age of mistake, and now we're, I think currently, the age of Captain L. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know what got into him, but he, he's out. Yeah. He's out for people. Yeah. And maybe later on, Smash 5, BC can do a little bit more, but I think they're a little bit too late, and we're going to prove that in EC <laughs> versus WC crew battle. Y'all are a little late. <laughs> just, just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. But speaking about the international players, I am so surprised by the support they have given us. I mean, uh, I'm so surprised seeing players like Elegant, K9 Bruce, like all these people from SoCal actually come over all the way here. Como came over. Yeah. And that's like a 12, 14 hour plane ride yeah. from uh, Japan to here. I think like he it, actually... It's, it's, no, it's no easy trip. It's no easy trip. I think he actually might be the very first top level Japanese player to come to Gamo. Uh, I think so. I remember 2016, Abadango couldn't go. 2017, uh -huh. uh, I don't think any Japanese players go. So I think Como might You be, might actually be right about yeah, that, yeah. 100%, I think. So, uh, hey, big honor for him, I guess. It, it's it, it's been a big, big honor for us, personally, just yeah. to have him here. Uh, great guy. Kind of sad that his flight got delayed. He's a little bit tired, but he can't be tired today. Or, hell, tomorrow. Everyone's flights are getting delayed. Yeah. I, like, no matter where they're coming from, everyone's just getting bodied. Air, Air Canada, buddy. <laughs> Air Canada. <laughs> Is that really it? Yeah, it might be. In all honesty, they kind of <laughs> suck. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, man. But we're starting off uh, real soon, guys. I think they are putting in their tags. All right. So leading off for the crews, uh, we have Space and Shucky. Mm -hmm. All right. Space being a pretty phenomenal Fox player. Uh, uh, Shucky, I uh, actually haven't seen him play, so I'm very... Uh, I want to find out who he plays and how he plays. You know what I'm saying? And like we said earlier, Space is going to be that uh, that Fox that leads off. Fox is a very good character in this crew uh, format. Oh, yeah. Pretty good character in every format, actually, Like mm -hmm. if we're just being 100% real. Um, a lot of kill power, mm -hmm. a lot of high damage moves. Yeah. If you're not prepared to fight Fox, he will actually beat you into the ground and he will, you know, laugh at you while you suffer. Like, it, it is pretty brutal. Exactly. So I, I like to pick with uh, Space going first. Mm. Uh, but it's also a low committal move, knowing that you have your two stars in uh, Death Force in, uh, and Yonks. So you don't really want to send those two out yeah, first. Yeah. So you want to send in Space. You know he's reliable, but he's not the highest they got. And hey, he's a good starter. Yeah, he's exactly. A good starter. Exactly. A good, a, a good starter is someone that can get something going, mm -hmm. but the team won't crumble when they go down. Yeah. You know, they, they have to be able to really like pull up the flag and start the rally. Yeah, and it's kind of a testament of uh, you know you're only as strong as your weakest link, and space mm -hmm. definitely is not 
uh, weak you at know, all. At all. So the the one guy you have maybe on lower in your crew battle is that good. Then that just says how much how good your crew battle is. Um, you're, sorry, your crew is. I like that. Yeah. I, I can't believe I've never heard that before. If you're only as strong as your weakest link. Yeah. That that's really good. Yeah. All right. So moment of truth. Who is Chucky gonna break out? Oh, Luigi. Oh, uh, yeah, Luigi. Luigi. Okay, so Fox. okay. Uh, I was afraid of something like that happening, but luckily Fox in this meta is a character that's developed a ton over yeah. the past couple of years. Like just even over the past year, yeah. Fox meta has pushed to the skies. Mm -hmm. So Fox is now a character that people view as a relatively even matchup spread. So even though a pick like this maybe would have shook a lot of Fox players last year, yeah. Now Fox week is doable. Yeah, exactly. it's it's not completely out of the question for Space to still take this. I feel like when it came to the years, we all kind of relied on Larry to kind of push that meta along. Yeah. But now there's so many Fox players, uh, not even just from SoCal, that are kind of pushing the meta and showing that this character actually is bonkers. He's actually kind of, yeah, he's kind of crazy. He's like kind people, of crazy. Are, people are trying to say he's number two in the game now. Yeah, the only real problem he has is off stage, and you can say the same for a character like Cloud. You know, yeah, right. Cloud's doing, you know I, I think the problem of being off stage in this game is highly overstated. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's nearly as big as a problem as people make it out to be, because yeah. a lot of characters can still just kind of make it back from deep. Uh, people can still mix up their recoveries. Granted, the mix-ups are very limited. Yeah. You still have them. You, you have to have make them. use of them. Yeah. It all comes down to how smart of a player you can be and how frequently you can try to mi uh, mix it up. All right, guys. All right, here we go. Luigi. You're gonna lock it back in. Oh, he fox. okay, he's yeah, taking yeah, the box. I think yeah. Yeah, I think we're character locked. He has the box. All right, let's see what New Brunswick, New Brunswick can do. All right, rock paper scissors, trying to get the stage strike going. Oh, oh, you saw that? He lost. Ooh, <laughs> bad start. Yeah, bad start. The immediate, he lost and he just looked away. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm not, let's just get to the game. Yeah. And for anyone watching that may just be waiting for, you know, another event to start, but is not familiar with the cruise format, for whatever reason, how this works, all your stocks are pulled together. Mm. Each crew is going to have 12 stocks, you know, denoted by the four players with three stocks each. Yeah. Do the math. And every stock that you lose hurts the entire team because if, say, Space takes one stock off of, uh, of Shucky here, and yeah. then he goes down. Shucky has to play the next game with only those two stocks. Exactly. So the goal when you get thrown in is to take as little damage as possible. Damage is, you know, mitigated, but the overall point is don't lose the stocks. Yeah. Take the other guys. Mm -hmm. And that's where in Smash 4, of, of all games, that, you know, out of all Smash games, I think it's so vital to stay alive, especially when Rage is such a huge factor in this game. You just want to stay alive percent. It's okay. Take a little percent. But if you can get that Rage kill and just can still have that two stocks on you, I mean, that's amazing. That's what the crew wants. We can talk about the power of Rage Babies later on as more characters come in. But right now, we're seeing a pretty good start from Space. We're seeing the counterplay come out from Luigi. That's the only message he's made so far. Every time he's popped up Luigi, he knows that frame from the air is on the way. Break up the combos. Let me get that combo started real quick, courtesy of you. But Space knows what's at risk, so every time he gets a hit, he's just resetting with shield, waiting for Luigi to land and continuing from there. Yeah, exactly. They're beating, out, they're beating him out pretty well, and he's taking advantage of the fact that, you know, uh, uh, Chucky's been using a lot of Cyclones, not even near ledge, but hey, right over there. Um, you're on, you know, just on the, the stage, so if you can just stay away from that, I mean, a lot of people do, do use it as a combo breaker, believe it or not. Yeah, I, that, that move looks like it should never have like a practical use, but it, it works. Yeah. I don't know. Is it stock? Oh, he, yeah. he wanted to react to the tackle, I believe, but then he got it, he just didn't believe in it enough. Okay. Oh, there back we go, air. the back air. And first blood. Mm. And you can hear the people shouting in the back. That stock meant everything, especially here in a crew battle. You need to do that. Oh, and he, oh, he's racking it up. Already 53%. Remember we said about Fox being insane? Mm -hmm. Well, we're seeing it right here. And I, I would... I could venture to say that if Ottawa can get this stock right after the first one, they would be elated. Yeah. If they would be a three stocks to one, Shucky would be back into the corner, and a weaker player crumbles at that exact uh, moment. He's off stage. Does he have a jump? No, but he has Cyclone. Uh, Not nah. enough mass behind him in space, taking two stocks already. And if this is a three stock, that's such a uh, morale boost for Ottawa, and just not the greatest for New Brunswick. I mean, I'm, like I said, this is all pride going in. Like the first match going like this, it's just not going. It's not going to be the greatest. All right, Shields, you got the old. Barefoot stool. Oh, Tries to go for it. Doesn't get it, but he's going to make it back. Now he has to get off this ledge against Luigi. Okay. All right, mission accomplished. Oh, he gave space to air dodge, but he was too close to the stage for a fair to really connect, I feel. So, safe air dodge. All right. Oh, trying to read a low recovery. 
space back on stage. Okay. Reset okay. position. He confirmed the fireball into a grab. Reset the whole edge of the situation. And Fox illusion I <laughs> randomly broken sometimes. I don't know. Hey man. We're all human at the end of the day. Oh the gear! And he's gonna cost him a stock. That's so important. Do and you know if he could have buffered Firefox after I that? I think he could have. Okay, so maybe that's what he was going for. Yeah. But I don't... He just hey, sometimes you just don't press the button. If that or it was just a straight up misinput, because yeah. I, I wasn't expecting that button. Oh, there you go, another cyclone. Another four percent damage. I like that cyclone though because he made it safe by going straight to ledge. Yo, this, you, and see, you see that? Yeah, the cyclone <laughs> usage. It never makes sense to me either. Don't yeah. worry. Crazy. One thing I haven't seen though is that a lack of grab combos uh, by Shucky. He hasn't been able to get his hands on space. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that. Just knowing how much damage you can pull out. Oh, nice move from the space. Making it look like he's going to the ledge and immediately buffering that roll on landing. Yeah. Oh, pops above ledge, but space wasn't ready for that option. Same back. I like how he's just bobbing and weaving. Fire jump punch is going to get back to the ledge completely safely. Okay, try to read it again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That was that was just like a weird looking play overall. High yeah. side B doesn't want to get caught with any cyclone. What's holding that stock for dear life? Okay, there could be one. Cool. There we go. Yeah, he realized. You know, you're playing simple. I'll play simple too. Yeah, just slow it down because Luigi is definitely not the kind of character you want to play the fast game with. Mm. The more time you give him to really like catch on to your simple habits and really maximize, the dangerous, the more dangerous it becomes. Yeah, exactly. So space is like, all right, I already have a two stock lead. Mm. Just slow it down because the goal at the end of the day is hold on to that stock. Exactly. I want to put my teammates in a good position too. And you saw, you know, you saw space actually shake his head a little bit. He knew he could have got maybe a three stock, mm. a big lead for his team, but that. SD kind of only got him two, and that in all honesty, in crew battle fashion, that is slightly average. That's okay. Yeah, that's you're all, expected right. to lose at least one, at least one when you stock. go in, unless you yeah. were like the star player. It's still good, but it's still all right. You know, yeah, he yeah. wanted that three stock, he wanted that statement, and like I said, it's a morale boost. Yeah, right, right. Mm. right. So, yeah. next player coming in, we are going to see him when he puts the tag in. Ooh, okay. Uh -oh. All right. Yeah, looking at other streams. Yeah, Cruz is insane, man. Everyone's uh, everyone's going ham right now. All right, so the next player coming out is four. So? So? So. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope he's not so-so. <laughs> yeah, he can't be so-so. We got to get back in this crew battle. Yeah. Representing New Brunswick is so. Rocking the Gamo hoodie. Represent. I actually saw both of them are all rock. They're all rocking the Gamo hoodie. I'm pretty sure. Because it's clean. Yeah. And look at it. Yeah. And they had to get it today. That's a good th Wait, Perfect. that's a. It's only today? Not only today. I mean, like, they got it today. Oh, yeah, they got it as soon as they yeah, walked they in. Yeah, they got it as soon you know, as they walked in. It's clean. Yeah. See the guy in the back with the uh, the Canada oh, smash? Yeah. That, that's clean. If you guys like are coming, that. if you guys are not here today and you're coming tomorrow, there is a lot of Gamo apparel. Go check it out. It's actually the first thing you see when you walk into the venue. Uh, it's not even just Gamo stuff, but also, like you see, right in the back, that nice Canadian jersey. Mm -hmm. Oh, Canadian hoodie, actually. And, All right, so we have a Corin. All right. And this is another kind of bad matchup. Uh, you know, actually good matchup for Fox when you think about yep. it. Yeah. I remember for a long period of time, uh, Fox was considered one of the killers for Corrin. Mm -hmm. But uh, Corrin is another character that's had their meta develop a uh, good a bit in the past year or so. Yeah. Well, you know, by virtue of having players like Cosmos and Ryuga. Yeah, exactly. So now Corrin is starting to get a lot more shine as maybe uh, an undercover killer character. Uh -huh. So I do think because of that, people started to find out more about her. They started to push a little bit more. So now this matchup isn't nearly as, considered nearly as bad, rather, as it has been in the past. Yeah. It's not the problem is not really landing. It's more so that the airspeed of the character she, she's just gonna be stuck there yeah. for a while. You know, you, maybe you could throw out that nair, you know, oh, catch the fox oh, slipping. Yes. But if the fox is fast enough, you're gonna be stuck there for a while. But other than that, in all honesty, I feel like Corn still has a chance. It used to be seem bad, like you said. Mm. But at, you know, people like uh, Ryu, people like uh, Cosmos, especially Cosmos in particular. Yeah, he's always working. Oh man, he's pulling that character on his back. In all honesty. That guy, it, unfortunately, he's not here today. Couldn't be, couldn't didn't come. get the password in time. Yeah, I read the Twitter. Yeah. I'm also disappointed. <laughs> All right, so Space is going to drop that stock because he can only work with two stocks for this next matchup against So. Mm. He's going to be going against the Corrin, and his job, without a doubt, is evening up this deficit. And if you can put your team in the lead, even better. Yeah, even better. Let's see what So can do. See if he can keep this Fox out. 
Right, right now we're just seeing the hitbox come out from corner, that nair, and that intangible back air. Intangible on the wing completely, and it auto spaces itself, so it's very tough to get in on corner if you're not reading your short hops. And we're seeing some damage coming from so already. Uh-oh, oh, no. Sorry, he's got his stuff. Okay, we're good. I, I just get afraid when I see something like that. Yeah, characters like Corrin, uh, they, you gotta keep your jump somewhere. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, keep, you it gotta in your keep it pocket. in your back pocket. <laughs> just, just pull it out in case the bus drive out for it. Yeah. Oh, you got your jump? No, yeah, yeah. Right here, here. Right here. Got my chance. Man. I just paid for it. You saw me. Oh, man. Oh, that back air. No, that's oh, gonna do it. Oh, my God. If he had a little more rage on that, that back air would have caused space to slip in entirely. Yeah, and so looking pretty good. I he's, mean, looking, he's looking clean. Yeah, only 50%. And that's the worst thing in the world. Oh, but here we go. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. Keep that character in the air. Oh, when when so Fox close. hits up tilt. Oh, good trade. Good trade. Mm. Nair landing. I'm going to call it out with up smash. And Fox up smash does have slight intangibility on his foot. Oh, yeah. So that definitely did play a little bit of a factor in getting that kill. So, in all honesty, though, so had that entire uh, stock. It just little hits like that, little stuff. That's two uppers and an up smash. Yep. Because Fox does the heavy damage, like we said before. Mm. Up air does 16, up smash does 16 too, I believe. Like, it's it's no joke. When Fox hits you, it hurts. Yeah. There you go. That, that pain, that probably going to do it. Yeah, even without rage, Fox does a way too hard percent to move light of a character. All right, so he's got to make sure something like that doesn't happen again. He's actually one of the star players on New Brunswick. He can't afford to drop another stock. All right, I like that pivot. That's uh, F tilt. Catch uh, space rolling in. Jab looking like the first stock, but we also saw what happened. Yeah, you can't give Fox any opportunity to play the game. You have the momentum, you have to keep it in your favor because when Fox is momentum, dangerous thing top. Yeah, grab. And he's trying a lot of these Dragon Fang shots. I respect it because he wants to catch out a uh, Fox Illusion. Just keep him in place for a free pin. But none of them really worked out so far. And all this, 70%? Oh yeah, keep this character out. <laughs> if, that, if you didn't have any validation up until this point, oh, why, can I, why should I keep Fox out? What's the yeah. big deal? What's the big That's deal? it. Yeah. Uh, another, another stock? Smash? No. Not yet. A little bit off on the percent. But he gets some slip with the back air. Dude. Yo. Five stocks. The air dodge reads straight into the Firefox. Come on, you tell me that wasn't some kind of taunt? Five stocks with space right now, and Fox is definitely liable to take another. Yeah, and this is what the third best player, Ottawa. Look, like, represent. Give, give me, give me, in this, give me someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Damage is coming out. Piss out landing. Oh, you have now. Oh, entered. he read the roll, but he went for a pip grab instead of a uh, dash grab. Oh my God, space is on point right now. Let's get away. Let's see if you put this man in the Fox vortex. Oh, no fire. Oh, that was such a good oh decision. God. Jumps over the Dragon Fang instead of waiting for it to finish out. I'm going to get my damage now, and you can't stop me. Straight through the Dragon Lance. All right, another Nair. He's gonna pop space up. Hopefully, he gets him going here. That pin not going to get the regular get up like he wanted. And space is making great juice. That grab right there, just gonna run up and catch that dash shield. It's a smash for a special man. And you know what? Even though he's behind on 70%, you know, honestly, if he stays back, he just gets a little bit of chip damage and ends it with that grab. It, it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. You know what I mean? But can he get off this ledge? This is a very pivotal part of the crew battle. Bad pin. Yeah, no, he's gonna make it away. Wait, I don't think any point for his kill here. Yeah, down no. throw not gonna really kill right here unless he is at the edge of the stage. And the pin doesn't catch Firefox. That's so risky. And this guy might risk it all, but the up oh, was so close. The game could have ended on either side right there, but they are both still standing. Oh, uh, the cross up with the back air. Got it, that's dead. That. Okay. Space, 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 six stocks. This man. And he's still going. <laughs> oh. He knew where he was going to land. He knew he had nowhere else to go. He got on that platform. He's like, see ya. And that's why it's so important to take those stocks because when you have a position like that, mm -hmm. Fox is at like, what, 100 plus? Oh, yeah. Death percent. I believe the, per the percent was around 130 or so. Yeah. That's literally next touch kills. But you didn't get that kill, so now the next guy has to do it. Yeah. It has to do it on the fresh stock. Yeah, exactly. Not at 130. Not you have to do it from zero. Zero. But we do have last people left, Catalyst and Famous. I'm pretty sure they're sending Famous out. Uh, which is their best player? A Cloud player from New Brunswick. I don't know, man. It's a tough uh, situation here because yeah. it's either you send out the, the technically weaker player. Mm -hmm and hope he can get the one stock off and doesn't get counterpicked by the next guy, or you send up the best player, who's probably your most well-rounded. Mm. You said Famous is a Cloud player, no? Yeah. I'd rather send in the Cloud than Shulk, yeah. let's be real. In all honesty. But once that Cloud goes down, Shulk gotta carry, because you can send out uh, the Shulk first. Exactly, but here's the thing, though. I feel like if you're gonna counterpick, you're probably gonna counterpick as Cloud to Battlefield, but this is Fox. 
Yeah, Fox loves Battlefield. Yeah, this, I, in all honesty, I really do think if he can't get the first stock, he, I think Space could at least get maybe one or two stocks. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's with, definitely doable. With, with something like Limit on deck, I mean, let's just let's just hope he at least takes one. Yeah. Because he, unlike Corn, he's got that little bit. He's the, got that cross slash. The best thing we can hope for here for the sake of New Brunswick is that Famous gets the stock off in a way that boosted the, the morale of the team, mm -hmm. and he also doesn't lose any stocks of his, because mm -hmm. Spaces has a lot of momentum right now. Yeah. Six stocks is a lot. That's yeah. two whole people. I imagine Ottawa in the back are saying, oh, we got this. Yeah, yeah. it's the stole it all away. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Space can actually handle all of y'all, actually. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like we saw, it. We're, they're going to the battlefield. Great stage for both characters, and I, I hope Famous is comfortable. And his, his counter pick. Yeah. I don't think anyone's not comfortable on the counter pivot. Yeah. And as these guys are doing their hand warmer in the back, we do have uh, Vapor uh, versus Spike Zillion on the other side. I'm pretty sure that could be... That's Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, yes. And Miss... I don't know I if it's Saga. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it could be. I know Spike Zillion is from Saga. Yeah, Saga. it's it's um, Nova Scotia and Mississauga on the other stream. So mm -hmm. real quick, if you're not watching both of the streams, because there are two streams for Smash 4 here today, Yeah. make sure you tune in to the other stream. Mm -hmm. See all the crews that are going on today. Get all, get all Take it as much Canadian talent as you can. Exactly. Because I guarantee you when bracket starts, you're going to want to know who these guys are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even it, they're all even matchup gaming. One, two, three, and four for Melee and Smash 4. Very easy to follow. So Space is going to throw with these two stocks and like I said famous time to shine yeah really. get that stock off as soon as possible you got to cut the momentum from space before you can run any further havoc on your team yeah it is indeed time to shine man it's in your game oh, see if quick you can do it slash. 19 all right Stay back I like the way Space is playing. He's always playing reactionary. He's always staying back and finding that dash attack. Up. Actually, more so the up tilts rather than even dash attacks. And I feel like, I don't know if that's really going to work against Famous. The character like Cloud, who's a lot of these arrows, they're so long and they're so safe. Right there, he can't really get an opening, but he does get the dash attack. Oh, and he gets the up on the landing right there, so he's going to get his damage. That air dodge into the ground got him away from one part of the frame trap. And I feel like if Swing did it correctly, he could have punished that with the, uh, the dash attack after, but he just slightly missed it. Okay. I like the edge cancel air dodge. Famous. Oh! Okay. okay, I was expecting that. Like, he could just let that shit fly. Yeah, he really, I mean, it's Fox Fall character. Sure, it's on Battlefield, but hey, you gotta try it. Alright, and he is indeed at death percent. He might be Space's last stop. Oh! Oh, up to, up, rather. Up air, not connecting. I don't know if it would've killed that up smash not killing either, though. So now Famous has a lot of rage, yeah. and he's going blue. And we don't like Cloud when he's going blue. Yeah. Oh, I guess we Oh, the read, okay. And the premature cross slash maybe trying to catch a run-in. I'm maybe. assuming that was for the run-in. I mean, Fox being such a fast character, you had to try it. Oh, the held it on a little too yeah. long. And Space is looking prime to take the stock, the way the way this match has been going. But I, I, I feel like he did have the chance to that F he could maybe done that uh, up smash. But now, he's got, this could be anybody. This dictates the whole, this dictates the entire crew battle right here. Who takes this stock? And, New Brunswick is still in it. Uh, uh, apparently, yeah. The it, down smash is just gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I, like oh, the, the match really just ended. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that to hit. But I think they're sending in Yonks. Okay, the Sonic. Right. Yeah. So, so Yonks, Sonic. You said. Mm -hmm. I think he's. Uh, I think he should be either Sonic second Bob. or mm. third on the uh, uh, Ottawa PR. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know Bread also should be on it, but he's. I don't think he plays that much. Uh, I, like, I saw him a couple months ago, but right now he's he's doing vacation. He's in vacation, right? Okay. right? Red being a ZSS player, and for a long time being the second best player in uh, Ottawa. So, I think right now Yonks is the second or third best player. And, hey, they're sending them their second gun. Alright. The, the right-hand man. Funny enough, actually, a long time ago, like two years ago, Death Horse wasn't actually number one. The best player uh, in Ottawa, who actually beat Death Horse on the regular and actually beat people like Black Twins, right. was a player named JPEDS, who was a Diddy. Oh, I remember him. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, he just stopped playing the game. Yeah. The classic. Hopefully, Smash 5.
We're bringing a lot of old people back. That's what I'm hoping, man. Yeah. To bring, to bring some people back to the scene because there are a lot of people who are extremely talented at this game and Smash in general. Yeah. That didn't really give Smash for the the run that they maybe would have liked when they initially got into it. And the magic it will be when the first weekly for Smash Five comes for oh every God. different region, all the people that are coming. I mean. I didn't get the experience that for Smash 4. I came a little bit later. Right. So I really am very hopeful for Smash 5 to see who's going to come. Who's who's who, who's the missing guns, you know? Right. Who's the, the people, the, the old relics are going to beat the crap out of us. <laughs> <laughs> the old guard. Yeah. You're going to come through. Oh, man. All right. But Yonks is definitely, I guess you can consider old guard. He's been here since even further than 2016. Okay. Been playing. And oh my god, your Famous is huge compared to Yonks. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, wow. I'm hoping that's just camera angles. Hey, man, that limit's on deck. Let me tell you. <laughs> Literally looking like David versus Goliath yeah. right now. But hey, in all honesty, it's actually the opposite going into this crew battle. I mean, they only got uh, Famous and Catalyst left. Yonks is uh, Goliath right now. Mm. He is Goliath. He's on top. He's the one that's slated to really be in the driver's seat right here. Mm -hmm. But Famous already did the, the hard part of yeah. them sending in. He was able to finish off the person they sent him in without dropping the stock, mm -hmm. right? So, so that just clean them up, yeah. get the momentum going for your team, in even a tiny bit. Yeah. Some momentum is better than none. Two, so, one, we have Town of City. We don't need to count it down 3 to 1 because this is a fresh game, essentially. Mm -hmm. They're just going to go right in. Now, I don't know Yonks' uh, kind of preference against Cloud in particular, because there's not a lot of Clouds in Ottawa. Uh, there's actually a lot of weird characters in Ottawa if you look at their PR. So I want to see how he uh, does against Famous, a player who I'm pretty sure he hasn't played against. All right, catches that lane with the cross slash. And Cloud's grab lane. Mm, oh tried to go God. for the spring ride. Now that option is off the table <laughs> yeah. because he saw it. Yeah. That's one of those things that once you do it, it's gone. Doesn't matter if it works or not, you can't do it. That's not even a Sonic thing. That's a Canadian Sonic thing. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you <laughs> know. Yonks. Yonks. Oh, man. Oh, man. But hey, he still got some percent on the board, staying back. And a lot of people say, you know, Cloud actually demolishes Sonic, but like we, just like we, we saw with Fox versus uh, Corrin, things change. Things change over time, yeah. Matchups change over time. And Sonic off base is a, a strong character in this game. So, oh, that was, that was a good catch. Mm, yeah. I mean, knowing that Cloud is always want to come back to the ledge, always wants his limit on deck. I mean, of course he's going to come back, use his jump. You know, right, right. Clean back air. Just like right there, Famous knew that Yonks was trying to cover the high recovery, so we dipped a little bit low and sacrificed the limit to get a hit off. I like it, but now we just got to get the limit back. Yeah. And you know, he doesn't like he doesn't really need limit right now. He's not near killing percent, and Sonic, besides that little spring, is not really known for his gimping potential. So if he can stay grounded, uh, I think it's fine. He needs an opening, man. He, he has no opening to actually charge limit, per se. So he needs to either get hit or do some hidden. All right, so we keep three Yonks off stage. That's one opportunity to get limit. Doesn't get a whole lot though, but a little is better than none. Mm -hmm. And then we have an even game. All right, uh, I think if Famous wants to really like make some headway here, he's got to throw away those short hop fares mm -hmm. because it's a good option on occasion. Yeah. But I really do feel like Famous is kind of like circulate, uh, circulating rather. Oh, yeah. His entire spacing game around that short hop fair, but uh -huh. throw that all away real quick. He got the stock off with the back air, mm. and like you said about the short hop fair, I mean you're fighting Sonic of all characters, the fastest character in the game. Right. Uh, out of all characters, he might have a chance to punish it if he sees it coming. But he takes that first stock clean. That's what he needs. All right, he's got limit. He's got a percent lead. He's got a stock lead. And, I, he, and like you were saying just now, I feel like he should take with the uh, the more grounded approach mm. because he just tried to jump in right there on Yonks to get a, his offensive play started, and he's gonna maybe drop a stock for it. We're gonna see how Yonks uh, capitalizes on his head guard. Yeah, he's no longer blue, this man. All right, fine recovery, but the back throw, yeah. At that percent, you definitely don't want to do regular get up. That's very evil looking setup too. Yeah. So I understand why he didn't regularly get up because it looked like he would be behind Yonks afterwards. But yeah. all of a sudden the, the hurt box just shifted. Yeah, exactly. Weird stuff. Staying back. I love Yonks' movement. If you have to see it, this man, it's not just, uh, there's so much Sonic uh, tech. I could be here all day. Right. But he's, this man is always staying back. He's always, uh, per uh, he's actually per pivoting backwards as well. Uh, he's doing, he's, he's, he's looking like a really good Sonic. Yeah, I, 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 I like that specifically. Yeah. The, the wave bounce, spin, uh, spin dash cancel. Yeah, look, you called to, it. I could like, <laughs> to set up his positioning to catch a landing that Famous thought was safe. Mm. Like, that, that is really good. Yeah. Knowing that, you know, Cloud is that, like, kind of anti-approach character. Like, I dare you to come into uh, my wall of uh, backers and uppers and airs. He's like, okay, fine, you come to me. Right. Mm. 
Right, here yeah. we go. He's showing me that he knows this matchup. He's not scared of Sonic. I mean, he's not scared of Cloud at all. All right, Famous almost dropping that stock, but now he has to play extremely careful here. He doesn't have any limit on him, so if he gets thrown off stage, Young doesn't have to do a whole lot to take the stock off. Oh, that paper grab on the landing back, though, probably not going to kill here. But, like I said, bad position, um, and he makes it back. Great rising and again, air dodge, regular but get up. yeah, I feel like it's just the first option you usually pick is regular get up. It's like the option everyone picks in the beginning, and I feel like Famous is suffering from that. It's just like, oh, I gotta uh, click, click something real quick. I don't right, want, right, right. I want to buffer an option, and he buffers because he, he buffers the get up, uh, normal get up. And with no limit, I don't know how he's gonna take the stock. He's gonna need like a, a super hard read when he called Smash Max. If he wants to get the stock off of that, and he, he blew R around him. Yeah. Yonx is like, this is fine. I'll just rack up as much damage as possible. Thank you for the grab. All right. Uh oh. High recovery. Yonx looked like he was looking for it. And again, the limit. Yeah. The famous, not really using the limit to, you know, to. It's just uh, not the best way. That's the most Yeah, the, I couldn't find a word for it, yeah. but we're just going to go with that. Not the best usage of limits so far. He's kind of thrown away all the limit that he's had since he's been out off these, these read cross slashes. And to the, be fair, like, to be fair, the two people he's playing against is Space and Young's two characters that are fast to get in your face. So he's expecting that run in. Right. You know, to do that cross slash and catch him, catch him slipping. But hey, these two players are very smart. They're like, no, I know you got a limit. I'm going to stay away. All right, Epto on that landing, and Young's using the the, the screech stop yeah. to make Famous think oh. he was safe, and then running back in for the pivot grab, and he was so shook that he lost that stock off stage. Damn, that was the quickest pivot grab, and it led to death. This is looking like a wrap up for Ottawa. God up damn. what? Eight stocks to three now? Mm -hmm. I believe it's eight stocks. Yeah. Because they've only lost space, and in that game, Young's only lost to one, right? Yeah. All right, so so eight stocks. Mm -hmm. And all they got left is a Young Shulk from New Brunswick. Catalyst. Yep, Catalyst is all that's left. All right, we I got mean, we got Shulk left against the current Sonic, the Mewtwo in the back, and a Ness, a Ness, and Atlas. And though you know Atlas, I think he's the lower uh, player because he hasn't been playing that much Smash, um, that much. I haven't really been seeing him. Okay, okay. He's okay. back. I'm pretty sure that he's back on their PR, but uh, overall, I definitely think he's lower than Death Horse Young in space. But he's got to get through Yonks, and they're obviously going to throw Atlas right after. Or if they're if the if they if the morale boost is that high, they're like, we're just going to send in Death Horse, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like just just clean it up. Clean he it needs up. To warm up anyway. Yeah, that's that's like the magic of of being this ahead, where you don't have to worry about okay, we're saving our final gun. It's like this guy's left. You know what? We're done. Let's make this quick. Monka. Oh my god. <laughs> why why did he make that his time? Oh my god. Yeah, he, he is shaking right now, but only <laughs> on the inside. I wonder if that's his normal tag, or if he just made that tag for this certain situation. I want to believe it's for this situation right now. Yeah. Like, but hey, you know, Shulk being that character has a, a bag of tricks, yeah. and it's a pretty, pretty big bag. And I think uh, matchup and experience is something we can actually uh, throw out there. But again, you would know better than I would because you're from here. Matchup inexperience is not going to happen because. Yeah. It, oh, it's been a long time. Germ, a uh, uh, Shulk. Oh my God, he I remember to, that name. Yeah, he used to. He was. Uh, he was. He was in Ottawa. He was wow, in Ottawa. And these okay. guys, they played him. They know Shulk. They actually know Shulk. You would not believe how many Shulks there is in Ontario alone. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot, but I didn't uh, know that there was one in Ottawa or that they well, like used played them frequently. Yeah, yeah they yeah. played them frequently. It used to be. Um, they, like I said, Ottawa has a lot of weird characters. They have a lot of weird characters. All right. Eight times alone, they have a uh, Falco and a uh, Lone Link. Like, oh god! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so finally getting into it. Uh, Catalyst is going to start off with the the speed art. Probably wants to contest some of that ground speed that Yonks is going to be definitely moving around him with. Mm. And like I said, there's oh, another and, spring, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, like I said, you try it, try it <laughs> once, see if it works. If it does, cool. If not, then yeah, we still, learn. Yeah, we still got the lead. All right, starting off with Buster, trying to get that damage on deck, trying to find some kind of opening. I really do feel for Shulk in this situation like this against kids like Sonic because he has to play so reactionary because we all know Shulk is infamous for not having the frame that to really be the aggressive. And against a character like Sonic who was so good at weaving in and out of your space, yeah. he's definitely going to be using the tools like the shield cancel spin, uh, spin dashes and the, the screech stop, you know, to cut his momentum really quick and keep it going. Yeah. I mean, to keep Catalyst on his toes. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, Shulk is scared to a lot of bag of tricks, but Yonk showing us that he has so much, a lot of Sonic tech on deck and he's, he also has good fundamentals. The fundamentals to boot. So it's gonna be kind of hard to find a way in and uh yeah. Called out that landing 
and that stock from Catalyst is going to fly off with only 25% to show for it. He needs to find some kind of opening. I did see a, a, a cool uh, cross up Nair to uh, the up throw to try to get that little Monado purge. I think that's what they still yeah. call it. But other than that, I haven't been seeing anything su uh, substantial, you know, something uh, that's good for him to make this comeback. All right, up throw. Goes for the up air, but Yonsei jumps out of that situation completely. Okay. 104%, he's going into smash mode. Very good move, yeah, yeah. No, no percent on you, so you're not gonna really like suffer from any attack that may hit you. Mm -hmm. And you like you said, Shulk is a very reactional, uh, reactional character. Like he stays back, tries to react. But with Smash Mode in particular, I feel like he's gonna do that uh, and then some. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially since he gets so much knockback in there. And oh, misses the that. The vision comes out, but his oh. eyes were closed, so he didn't actually get the counter to go off, or at least uh, he got it to go off, but didn't get it to hit Yonks. And yet yeah, that, that, that's some tricky stuff. Yeah, that is indeed. Isn't that the uh, shadow iframes or whatever? Yeah, yeah, if you if you do it as soon as you transfer from uh, aerial stance to grounded stance, yeah. you get full invincibility throughout all the vision. Uh, it's too bad that Catalyst didn't see that because he actually could have got maybe some kind of punish, maybe even a grab. Uh, I know it was just uh, Young just did a grab, but he did two grabs. Right. You know, so he, he, he thought he could actually like, punish it, but he was just right there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's please pick the right one, please hit me. Yeah, <laughs> and didn't hit him. But, but he's it, finally gonna get a stock off. Yeah, only 45%, not the worst thing in the world, but he has two stocks left for his entire crew. Yeah. Uh, in all honesty, we might have to wrap it up, but it, yeah, I want to see it. I want to see a fight at least. Oh, now we're seeing a fight. Hold on. Okay, got Yonks in the corner. Jump, Monado being one of those scariest uh, tools that uh, Shulk actually has. Yeah, people don't talk about jump art Shulk enough. Like, mm. this character actually just starts, like, swimming around <laughs> the stage. Yeah. Like, no water. He's definitely he's thinking this, is, this whole stage is just cool to him. But he goes straight to the buster. All right, finally gets. Oh, I love oh, the, the spot dodge back yeah. throw. Oh no, I was afraid of that. Yeah, yeah, but right. didn't kill him just yet. I thought the percent would be right to actually get the kill off the read. And now we're in shield mode. Okay, dodge the counter completely. I feel like shield mode 100 might be not be like especially against Sonic of all characters. Yeah, he's going back to the jump, knowing that he's got nothing to worry about at 112. Besides maybe an F, uh, a back throw near ledge or an F smash. Please. Oh, there it is again. He's so proficient with it. Yeah. He's got the punish as well. All right, but can he catch his get up? F tilt? No. Last time he killed with an up tilt. Let's see if he can do it again. Back throw? Probably the hardest punish he could have got thanks to Shulk's frame data. Mm. The air slash, if it connected, definitely would take that stock off the Yonks. Yonks got one stock left. Let's see if he can survive, and that might do it. I like no. that. I like that. Mm. Immediately cuts the end leg with the, uh, the Manadar landing leg cancel. Yeah. Almost got a kill off it too. All right, so Young is definitely looking for a way to get his footing back. Now Shulk is in speed. He's at the ledge. This, Actually, this is kind of, you know, kind of scary. Yeah, but I feel like it's fine for him to go back and go back into shield mode because losing a stock That's like not that. Not, no, yeah, okay. not yet, but you cannot take any more hits like yeah, that. Yeah, back into shield mode we go. Oh, oh great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Seeing that, like, yeah, good job. You didn't kill me. Okay, what can you do? Oh, uh, that's the landing? Yeah. He just grabs down throw, not going to kill just yet. Even with all that rage that Shulk has. Shulk's gone. Oh, no. no he has no, jumped no, no. though. All right, good, 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 good. Auto snaps with the air slash. I know a lot of aspiring Shulk players kind of miss the legend to use that air slash like that. Mm. But thankfully, Catalyst knew the angles and oh. immediately, came immediately down. comes back. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think you're watching that stock off? Yeah. You weren't supposed to do that. My God. Well, he, I don't know. I don't think he's pretty happy with it, though. He had to drop that stock to even get the the win. And they're sending in Death Horse. I'm telling you, the morale boost. They don't care. Yeah. They're sending in Death Horse. Best case scenario, Catalyst didn't drop that stock because he just took it right after. With just like, oh, all right, come on. Yeah. I didn't have to drop that stock. Yeah. I literally took it right after. <laughs> but he's still in this, technically speaking. Mm -hmm. If you have a stock, you can win a game. Yeah. That's, that, that's all that matters right now. He's still in the game. New Brunswick still has a chance on the table. But Death Horse is here to flip the table over and tell them all to get out. <laughs> and honestly, I think he's uh, uh, Death Horse being a player who's rather confident in his skill. Uh, and it's, it's earned. It's well yeah, rightfully earned. Rightfully so. Yeah. And pretty nasty. I feel like that sometimes does get into his head. But that was a while ago. I think right now he's uh, well-tuned. I think he's ready for Gommel. I, I think he's happy about it. And I think we might see a big tournament for Death Horse. Yeah, he's one of those players I'm expecting to break out this tournament and really like show people what he's about. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of these players, because because they are from Canada. Yeah. Canada does not get the exposure as much as it should. You don't get a Gommel type event, you know, but once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. 
So you don't get all the opportunities to really just say, hey, I've improved about this much. You got to respect me now. Yeah. But and Canada already respects him, per se, because yeah, he does, yeah. East, at least Eastern Canada, he has mo uh, sets off the, the best players in Eastern Canada has to offer, except for Ally. Uh, I'm not too sure if he does have an Ally win, but he does have multiple wins on Black Twins and a huge win on Mistake at Canada Cup 2017, all right. uh, which was huge. Uh, it actually sent Mistake ninth. It gave Mistake ninth oh at that gosh. tournament. Compare that all the way back then to now. Oh, that's huge. That's really huge. All right, so what stage are we going to go to? Town City? Oh, of course. Of course. All right, so I know, I know Death Horse, like, messes around at locals with his Wario. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, like, it, <laughs> it, it, it's still here. I didn't even notice he went Wario. Uh, okay, I think we're, go we're gonna have a treat because last time I saw his Wario, actually, it was fly. It's, it was actually it's pretty fly. good. Yeah. But, like I said, the confidence, man. I don't even think Atlas is here. I think they just said Death Horse. I think he's back in Ottawa. <laughs> right, look, we don't even need that many people. You can, you can just stay back. Yeah. All right, so we're getting it started now. Town of City, once again, is going to be the stage, and Death Horse is going to go with the Wario mm. instead of the usual Mewtwo. Don't want everyone for a loop. Yeah, and hey, I feel like this is actually still a good pick cruise-wise, knowing that Waft is such a huge, yep. a great option. And if you have three stock with this much time, like I, I don't know if you've seen it, but way, way back, uh, Genesis 3 Crew Battle, I remember seeing a player from Mexico camp with Wario. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Death Horse breaks out the taunt after he throws Catalyst off stage. Uh, like, of it, it, they're definitely all just disrespecting now. Yeah, but yeah, it, um... That was, that way was, much, way much. That's yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a while ago. And look, look at the timer. You could just actually stay back and have that waft on deck. Oh, but I feel like with one stock already at 90, he's not gonna do that. Ooh, okay. Oh man, only I was expecting so much more, but I didn't realize that was at zero. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't been able to get a little eight combos in, but. Already, okay, 30%, something. I don't know if you wanted to grab that. that. Yeah. What, what are you doing? That's my Harley, dog. Oh, and he's done, yeah. Oh, oh, you oh, didn't have to do all that. On. <laughs> you didn't have to do all that. <laughs> and nobody in the crowd class. Look, and, and that's how it ends. It's like, <laughs> we're just going to be as disrespectful as possible. Yeah, you know what? He saw that last stock. He saw, hey, he's got one stock left. This guy's a shog. I'm one of the best players in Canada. I'm going Wario. You can't. Da you, yeah, like, you what are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. So, Ottawa does defeat New Brunswick. Uh, they advance to the Winter's Quarterfinals. This has been seeded, but I think I think New Brunswick did put up a good fight, especially in the beginning. Yep. I think it's just space. Space was the key yeah, player. Yeah, space's start at the beginning gave them mm -hmm. so much momentum. Yeah. Like, that, I think that's an unprecedented amount of momentum that they got from right then, because mm -hmm. you're not expecting a player that goes out first mm -hmm. to take six stocks. Expect